Hey guys, what's up? It's uh, time for some more in-home training tips. And uh, today what I wanted to discuss was neck strength and uh, neck flexibility, okay? And how important that is to prevent tension, uh, poor posture, things like that, okay? So it's one of those muscles that's often ignored. Um, people just don't really give much thought or attention to it. Um, but it's very important. Now, exercises like uh, deadlifts, things like that, will really strengthen the neck, trapezius, the muscles of the upper back, which are responsible for maintaining good posture. All right. But you want to do some specific uh, neck work as well. Okay. It's very useful. So neck flexibility and neck strengthening as well. Okay. Now, the strengthening movements uh, here, they actually came uh, from my uh, friend who, who practices left way. Left way is, um, I think, maybe the most brutal combat sport uh, in existence, I think. Because um, they are, it's the, actually the art of nine limbs. Muay Thai is eight limbs. Where you can use fists, elbows, uh, knees, and feet. Left way, you can, you can use headbutts, too. It's actually legalized headbutts. And until recently, the only way to win uh, was by knockout. You know, it's, it's, I mean, it's, it's, it's very brutal, but because they, they um, use a headbutts, they have very strong necks. You have to, okay? So, because when you do a headbutt, you, you're not just doing, doing this with your head flopping around. I mean, your whole structure, your whole body is going forward, right? So, bang, 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 right? It's, it's, just, it's nasty, okay? Now, you don't have to do that in order to use the strengthening exercises and the benefits of left way, okay? So, first let's go over some uh, stretching movements, alright? Now, the first one is uh, smell the armpit, okay? And it's exactly like it sounds. Just turn your head, come down, and bring it over, and you're smelling your armpit, okay? And it's, um, you're stretching the muscles right here, okay? So, it comes down and bring it there, okay? It's very, very good there, okay? Now, you want to hold each stretch for about... Uh, 15 20 seconds something of like that all right now next one is just top your head and pull down this is for the uh, back of the neck here okay and another one is put your hands behind your back and then push down and at the same time turn your head to the side and then lean it backwards. So you're stretching those big thick cords again, but it's a bit of a different angle. Instead of being compressed like this, now it's like that. See, so this goes here, goes back there. See? Okay. All right, and um, you know, obviously do it on both sides. Okay. Those are, stre are stretching moves. Now for strengthening. This is where that uh, left way stuff comes in, okay? And it's actually very simple, all right? But I can show you what, what it is sitting upright, and then I'll show you lying down, okay? So uh, you want to find um, some place, like the edge of a bed, edge of a sofa. Um, I have a thick mat here. My, my workout mat is quite thick. Um, and uh, you want something where your head can hang off the edge, okay? So the first movement is going to be nodding your head, yes. So that, that's moving. It's going up and down. Then you're shaking your head, no. And then you're going side to side. Okay, yeah. And uh, these movements, you know, they're, they're very humbling. Because when you do it, you realize, uh, you know, wow, you know, that's a lot harder than I thought. <laughs> you know? And you can't do as many reps as you think you can or you hope you can. Okay, but it's very good. Stick with it, and uh, you're going to see some big, big uh, results in uh, your neck strength, your overall posture, and in overall sports performance. Okay, remember something, too, that when you look at attributes which make up a good athlete in any sport, a good martial artist or whatever, okay, these have many carryover benefits. Okay, now, soccer players, basketball players, tennis players... Um, they tend to be pretty good with their feet. They have pretty good footwork because that's the nature of the sport which they play. You know, they're they're used to that. They're, you know, they're they're good at it, right? So that's why 
they tend to, once they learn footwork and martial arts and things, they tend to take to it pretty well because, you know, they, they, they are already quite good at that. You know, they're accustomed to moving with their feet, with, with, with uh, initiating movements with their feet. They're used to that. A lot of people have their feet just glued to the ground. They don't really move, okay? And that's, that's the thing. So attributes in one sport, one activity, can easily translate into other ones, okay? So anyways, so let's um, change the angle here. And I'm going to show you um, oh, the movement now. Just a minute. Down here, you can see the edge. Wait a minute. One second here. <laughs> okay, here we go. So you can see how my head is hanging off the edge. So I'm doing the nodding, yes. Do a, Each one do about, like, maybe, I don't know, 10... 10 reps, 15 reps, something like that, okay? Now that's the first one. The second one is shaking your head, no. See, that, that's how it works. Hang off the edge. And then the last one is side to side. Okay. Let me get back up here. <laughs> All right. Okay. Okay. All right, and so there's your uh, neck uh, workout exercises, okay? We went over the uh, stretching movements and also the strengthening movements, okay? Um, both are very important. And like I said, right, uh, neck uh, strength, um, neck mobility, uh, flexibility is all very, very important for sports performance and overall health, good posture, Things like that, okay. So remember, you don't have to go around headbutting people, okay. But you can use these conditioning and strengthening methods to benefit yourself and your uh, health, or and or whatever sports activities you choose to uh, take part in. Okay, so that's the video, and uh, talk to you guys soon.